Hello YouTube, Chaos Productions back here with another video. This is part two of World War Brick. If you haven't already check, checked out my other video, go check it out. I show a bunch of cool clips from World War Brick, a bunch of the cool builds that I saw, and just some cool pictures of some of the people I met. So this is going to be the haul portion, um, showing you guys what I got from World War Brick. And let's get started. So this is just one of the guys. And they actually had a, like you could buy tickets and you could play a game and get these these guys or these, the head and the body, not the helmet or the gun. The gun is uh, another thing that I got. But you could get those for playing a game for $2. So I bought uh, a bunch of tickets and like you could either win a guy if it landed on one, which I got pretty lucky and got a bunch of ones. <clears throat> Or it could land on another thing, and you could get, like, tiles. So I'll go over this right here. I landed on, like, uh, I think it was two. And then I got this, this like, tiles printed from Brick Mania. I got this one that landed on two. I think this goes with the Roman Praetorium or something. It's, like, the chest that's all printed up. Really cool looking. Uh, right here I got these cool uh, crates. And these ones are really, really nicely printed. I like the look of these. So that's what these ones look like. Both different. I also got this one's very cool. So here, I'll show you guys what this one looks like. This one also went with one of the Roman Roman builds. But it is a bear, uh, like a bear carpet. So that looks really cool. And uh, you can only get this in one of the kits. So I'm glad that I was able to get this for playing a game for $2. Um got this we just doze printed this was one of the items i got it's like a front console for like a helicopter or a plane um i got these which can be used for another one another humvee um i got this piece uh they only had one of these when i got there so i didn't really know what it was but it's like a dark tan kind of great or something so and then i got a bunch of these uh marines marines on light light gray for just anything i got five of them and these are actually the exact same ones that go on my venom right over here so these ones uh are used on the venom so i think those are really cool i also got this like fleur so this is uh it goes on the bottom of a helicopter and can spin around as like a infrared sensor um let's see here this is another little console front like dash of some some sort of plane or helicopter right here just some other random printed pieces i'm not really sure what these are and i also am not sure what these ones are these ones go together those two and then i got yeah if i can bring this over um so this one right up here is a USFS and I'm not sure what that stands for but this is how that looks and it's like uh, these top ones are printed on these like slope tiles so you can slope it on something and I'm not sure what that's from but this one right here is also on slopes and it's a USS Driscani got this cool little printed uh, minifig stand as well as these cool printed bricks and also this really cool printing not sure what that's from but it looks really cool um i got this marines and just a bunch more uh like a bunch more little little things that all are here that have some nice detail on them so those could be like humvee doors uh let's see these i'm not sure what these are just maybe container tops and then here's some more i got another like another one of these i think that one looks really cool and then last thing I got was these USS Arizona's um, signs. And I didn't know what they were at first, but I just picked them up. They were in, a, they were in all these bags right here, so that's why I got those. But um, yeah, so these are all the printed parts I got. Again, there was just a game, and you could do like $2 to play. And if it landed on a 2 or like a 5, you could pick a printed part. So a lot of cool selection there. Um, and then I'll just show you this real quick. This is... When I met George Hicks, just gave me this sticker. Um, 
now getting into some of the bigger items that I got. So again, <clears throat> with that game that I played, I was able to get a bunch of really, really cool items. So I'll show you guys what I got. First thing right here, got this little freebie. And then right here, so I got this guy, again, two bucks. Same with this guy. And they come with the entire body and the head. The only thing I had were the helmets, and I put the helmets on the guys. But they, I got a, they had a bunch of, a huge selection of like all the minifigures they, they probably printed. Um, and they had World War II, lots of modern, just lots of cool stuff. And all these heads are really, they're really unique and different. So I got a bunch of interesting looking heads to go on these guys. So here's some more modern guys. And it's another one right here. I really like the look of this head because I don't, I think I only have one of those guys, those heads. But then all these, these other heads are pretty, I mean, I don't have any of these and that looks really cool. And then these glasses on this guy, I really like how that looks. I got the night vision goggles on all these guys. Um, and then some I have 3D printed helmets. So just like that. Right here, I have a, this one actually kind of looks like Shy, uh, who also has a YouTube channel. Um, that head does anyway. And then I got this guy in the, in the Brick Mania store. Um, this guy actually had a different head, so I'll show what that looks like right here. Um, but I did change it out with this other head I got from the from the guys, and I like that one a little bit better, so that's why I'm using it. I did get this cool uh, Vietnam minifigure right here, minus the helmet and head, but I did get this uh, this body from playing that game as well. I mean, you can pick any body if you land on if you land on it. And I just happened to get mostly modern and one, one Vietnam guy because I really like the look of that one. Um, and then lastly, the one that I showed in the beginning right here. This one just looks like this, and he comes with the N law, and that N law is actually one of the the crates that I got here. So as part of Ukrainian benefit, Brickmania has done a bunch of cool cool things for uh, for that, and this is one of the items. So the other one is this. Uh, FIM 92 Stinger. So this guy also already built up. So I got, I'll show you guys what this one looks like. The helmet is kind of loose on this guy. So I'll show you guys what it looks like in a second. But the printing on this guy is really nice. So I really like the look of that. If I go, yeah, the helmet's just really loose. So I don't know if I'll be able to show with the helmet. The helmet's just a normal 3D printed uh, tan helmet. But it does look really good. And then... The head is really, really cool with that skeleton, if it'll focus. Um, okay, I don't know why that's not focusing. There we go. See, I really like the look of that. And then, uh, so yeah, this is a chairman minifig that I got, The this guy right here. And then the other one I got, which was a World War Brick exclusive, is this Force Recon Marine. And this one was actually given to all the attendants for... Uh, for free that bought the weekend pass. I had to buy this though because I bought the day pass. Um, it costs 33 bucks, but it is a World War Brick exclusive. So if you can go, I'd recommend going and trying to pick this up. If you can, as well as maybe play the game a little bit and get lucky, you can get these guys for $2 each. And I just thought that was a, like an incredible deal. The money goes to charity as well. So um, yeah, this is what this guy looks like. An incredible gun that's that's on this guy as well. I've never seen this level of like printing that goes on a gun. It just looks really good. Um, and then <clears throat> the N law actually comes with this printed crate right here for it. So it's just guided missile, N law on it, anti tank. So it's printed on the front. But yeah, that looks really good for that. Also has this missile right here that says to Russia with love. Um, if I can focus that other side. Russia with love so that's for the end law the other world war brick exclusive kit is right here so this one is a m1161 itv lsv and this uh is in in a, an original design by andreas Egan. Uh, i really like the look of this one and i actually saw it on instagram so i just knew i had to pick this one up but for a hundred bucks this is a really solid kit and uh without any minifigs it makes the price like really uh, really, really um, good for a Brickmania kit. And the design itself is really good. I can't wait to build this one. So 
Uh, stay tuned for part three of me showing off the built M1161 as well as uh, part four, which I'll be showing this other kit that I got. So this is the biggest kit that I got, but this is, I'm sure as many of you know, the Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey. So it's a tilt rotor military aircraft, one that I've been wanting for a long time. And this one is just huge. So they had about, I'd say maybe 10 or more of these on the Macon Island, the boat that Dan and a bunch of the guys made. Um, and they're just super impressive. So I'm glad I was able to pick one of these up. It was the last one in the store. And I would have picked up an Abrams if they had it, but all they had that, that was modern that I really liked was this uh, Osprey right here, as well as the medic helicopter, but I really wanted this Osprey. So um, stay tuned for part four where I build this one. And that is, that's pretty much it for the World War Brick haul. But again, just to wrap things up, if you guys can go, I really would recommend it because that game itself, I didn't even know about it until I got there. But uh, you can get all this printed stuff. I, I spent a hundred bucks and I got, I mean, all the guys I showed here minus these two guys and this one for two bucks each and all these tiles, I mean, for two bucks each. Pretty Well, not two bucks each. They came in packs, so a little less than that, but 110 bucks for all this stuff, basically. And that is a super good deal. If you can't have, like, a lot of these guys uh, tend to be very expensive. So if you can get them, uh, I mean, if you can get them for the good deal at World War Brick, I'd, I'd really recommend doing that. Um, so, yeah, and there was a lot more than this. Obviously, there were World War II. There were, uh, there were a bunch of the flight deck crew, minifigs. Uh, pretty much pretty much any guy that you can think of that's re either retired or not making it back, like see this one right here these are all retired minifigs so i have most of these actually i have all of these except for this one and now that they're retired they're not coming back so um they're they're going to be pretty rare at this point as well so that's all i have for this video guys stay tuned for part three of the m1161 build and then part four of the bell boeing v22 osprey if you haven't already make sure to check out my past video i show a bunch of pictures and uh videos from old Lord brick uh, so if you're not able to attend, I highly recommend checking that out. And other than that, uh, make sure to like the video, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.